This news was brought to you by U Multicultural. Water has played a fundamental role in shaping the history of the lands we now call Canada. For millennia, it has been a gathering place for First Nations and a vital transportation route for settlers. With areas like the Forks and 100,000 lakes across Manitoba, Winnipeg was the ideal host for the newly announced Canada Water Agency. The CWA will lead efforts to develop a national freshwater policy and create a freshwater data strategy. It will work closely with federal departments, indigenous communities, and other partners to protect and restore Canada's lakes and rivers. With a $650 million investment from the federal government, the CWA will oversee funding programs for major water bodies such as the Great Lakes, Lake Winnipeg, and the St. Lawrence River, among others. It will also support projects across the country to safeguard fresh water resources. Initially established in 2023 as part of Environment and Climate Change Canada, the CWA gained independence this year with the passage of Bill C-59. The agency's headquarters in Winnipeg is seen as a strategic move for the city, which has a long history of water management expertise. Mayor Scott Gillingham expressed pride in this decision. Water has always been central to Winnipeg's identity. It's why the city was founded right here at the joining of the Red and the Assiniboine Rivers. The rivers have shaped our history, and no doubt they are shaping our future as well. Minister of Environment and Climate Change Stephen Gilbeau emphasized that the climate crisis is fundamentally a water crisis, highlighting that even regions like Alberta are now experiencing water shortages. So you think as environment minister, every time I meet a farmer, he's going to be angry at me because of carbon pricing. Well, it's not the case. I meet farmers um, from coast to coast who want to come and talk to me about climate impacts on, on, on their capacity to farm. I met cattle farmers from Alberta. You'd think that I you know, wouldn't be their favorite guy around. He did not want to talk to me about carbon pricing. He wanted to talk to me about the fact that he's had to cut in half his herd because there's not enough water. There's not enough fresh water in Canada. Collaboration is essential to the CWA's mission, and Indigenous knowledge will play a critical role in water stewardship. This was echoed by Chief Clarence Easter of the Chimawawan Cree Nation. From First Nations' perspective, water is not just a resource. It is sacred, and it's also a part of our lives. Our communities have long understood that clean water is vital for our cultural health and, and the way of life. Clean water is essential for well-being of our natural environment. Protecting our waterways is essential for the well-being of both people and the environment. It's imperative that we find a strategy for a clean, safe environment, not only for today, but future generations as well. These, these are challenges and opportunities that we can address together as such the impacts of climate change, the growing economy, need for water, improving our knowledge, as well as collecting information and data on our water systems that will allow us to come up with an action plan to make real change. As climate change brings more frequent natural disasters, establishing the Canada Water Agency marks a significant step in protecting Canada's freshwater resources for future generations. Its success will depend on strong partnerships and the integration of modern science and indigenous expertise. You're tuned into U Radio, where diverse voices connect. Stay with us for more stories and insights that matter. With U Multicultural, I'm Ryan Funk.